going to build an AMS built on Salesforce. And then we kind of schemed around what we would do. And we said, we're going to build one for the small staff. Because the small staff associations always get screwed. They basically have no staff, kind of the same needs, not enough money, and they can't do things. And we're like, we're going to give them a package. And it can be easier to write a small staff package. Than being and there's way we, more. We had two choices. We had this, this, or we can move to the enterprise level, which is what we did. And about three and a half years later, we came up with Nimble AMS. And it kind of, it, you know, as you know, it disrupted the market hard. Yep. Um, we, let's take a shot at doing work differently. So I approached Mike. I'm like, hey, Mike, I know you're going to go work for this other consulting firm. But here's what I'd like to offer you. We're not going to be a big company. You're going to work, you know, 32 hours a week. And I don't want you, when five o'clock hits, I don't want you to do anything for me. I'm not going to send you email after five o'clock. And I'm going to need you to have a reasonable billable expectation, like 70% billable. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take away every single distraction in your life because you're going to, you're a creative individual. You are very, very good at what you do. But if I bug you with a meeting once a day or twice a day, or God only knows maybe more, or if I'm sending you emails or I'm, you know, hitting you up on some kind of chat tool or something like that, you, every time I do that, your context switching and getting out of it, I go, I'm going to eliminate all of it. We are having no meetings. No, gonna, since then, and I go, I want your feedback. You tell me, how are we going to change the way this is done? How are we going to make this fun? But also recognizing that by doing this, we have a much, much better product. Because you're going to say, look, you, the person you're going to get, A, is highly skilled. B, is rested. C, is psyched to be there to help you. And so that's really what we're doing with Gojek. Got to be realized, like, look, I'm taking this and I'm putting this in, your, in the hands of the staff. And so... In my entire life, like all the other businesses that I've developed, it's been a customer first mentality. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's right. I think the correct mentality is an employee or a team member first approach. And the reason I say that is because if this individual is loving life and working, you know, at his or her capacity you know in a craftsman like the people that we have the two people that we do have as employees they i consider them craftsmen they are so skilled we got to get out of their way you know what i mean comfortable with that you know that they're gonna they're they're they have to have autonomy they have to be number one and when you do that i personally think everything else is going to fall in place the customer is going to get taken care of well the customer's taken care of well then the shareholders are kind of taken care of you know, and the, the example that I kind of use, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a stretch, but like I'm an American Airlines Platinum member. Then you don't really, yeah, they don't have the same mentorship, you know, that you yeah. have with them. It'd be like, imagine if you had like three children, how much time right. do you spend with them? Well, right. if you had 30, like somebody's <laughs> going to be in prison, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, so those, that's the tough part. You know, if you look at like, if you listen to like, you know, like Cal Newport, you know, like, you know, deep work, you know, I think. You know, he, he really has a, a few a few things that I think are very, you know, interesting. He talks, you know, he talks about when you're in these, when, if you're in these creative profession, right? It's like, you need distraction-free flow. I need to be able to work, you know, and you know how when you're coding and stuff like that, you kind of get in that flow. You don't get in that flow by answering a phone call, text, you know, some kind of chat, and you're going back and forth. That's the exact opposite of flow, right? Right. But he also says... You know, you got to think about on a daily basis, like doing less and just doing it better. You know, like our family went to Five Guys. Like, Let me tell you something. That's probably one of the best cameras I've ever had in my life. And it, that's like a fast food joint. But that's all they do. Like they're not right. selling coffee. They're not, you know. Burger, fries, doing... milkshake. That's it. Get exactly. Out. And they right. do it really, really good. Or Chipotle or whatever. You know, just choose it. But you go to the people are trying to do it all, right? Do less. Just do it better. And then really work at an appropriate pace. Like, you know, so they were taking quality. So he realized that 
the most important thing is not the big change. Big, the big best thing you can do is change something daily. I mean, we used to have this at Nimble user called Daily Kaizen. Like, how can you make something better? But he presented to his staff and says, I want you to make something better every day. And they're like, oh, you know, this is going to be like, come on, man. How are we going to make something better every day? He goes, I'm going to give you an hour in the morning to make it better. And then it, it goes, what does better mean? Goes, you need to make something better by two seconds every day. You need to tell me what it is. No. You and go to any company, any association, anything, and you go to go to the clerical person and say, is there something that could be better here? Yeah. There's like, like 5,000. I have a list behind my desk, my, behind yeah. my desk, actually. Yeah, there's like 5,000 things that could be better. But I don't have time to do them. I don't have time to address that. So it doesn't get better. Did he make a better product? Maybe. But you know what it did? Every single person that worked there comes to work with what? A mentality that I got to make something better today. Every day. People love that. He is almost zero eternal. And you come to work with that mentality on a daily basis, stuff's going to get better. So if every, if the, imagine if an association said that. Like to their people, we don't need a big project out of you. We just need to make something two seconds better. How about if somebody filled up this form, this membership form, can we make it too easier that they can fill it out two seconds quicker? Probably. Minutes. Yeah. 12 can minutes. we, can we find, exactly. Can we find something on the webpage and make it load quicker? You know, what are all the things that we can do? And stop thinking about all these big things. That's too difficult. That's too straining. Think about the small micro improvement that you can make because it will add up. You know, add up big. And people that work there, like people that work in association, usually the biggest frustration level is for something stupid. I can't believe, like, every time someone registers on this membership site, I got to take it and re enter to another system. Yeah. Or, you know, anybody's got something like that, right? Even but really we talks have... about, you know, like just a same, having a place of work that's, you know, reflect sanity and, and people want to come to work and enjoy it and what you can do as a leader to foster that.